Hi, it's Michael Train, artist and owner of Train of Vein Tattoos here in Salina, Kansas. Um, I wanted to do a product review today over the FK Irons XO. The XO, I've been using this machine for, oh, maybe two, three years now. I actually uh, pre-ordered it when it came out and pretty much haven't touched any other machines since I got this machine. Um, this is, I think I believe I, I paid around 1300 when this came out. It came with two battery packs, um, came with the adapter. So if you want to use RCA, you can plug it right in. Um, I used that at the very beginning when I got it just to kind of see how it, how it worked and pretty much once I started using the batteries, I haven't looked back. Um, so I bought the, the XO, it came with two 10 hour battery packs. Um, I, like I said, I've been using this machine pretty much nonstop as my daily driver for over two years. And I just recently had one battery finally fell on me. I replaced it and the new one works just fine. My other one still works just fine. Um, so batteries work really well. I, other than that, I haven't had a problem, but I mean, I put hundreds of hours on that, each of these batteries. So I'm sure it was, it was about time. Uh, so with the XO, go ahead and show you guys. The battery will pop right off. Let me turn that on. And then you're left with the actual machine mechanism. Um, the machine itself has a really nice wide grip on it. Uh, that was something that really interests me because prior to buying this machine I was using uh, Stigma Thorn and it's a nice great small lightweight machine but I like a nice wide grip on it um, what I found over the years is a nice wide grip kind of helps control and takes a lot of stress off your wrist and your hand when you're tattooing for long hours so the fact that this came built with this nice wide grip on it is pretty awesome in my opinion um what else can i say about this machine overall i mean it's been a great machine for me like i said i haven't tried using any other machine since i've got it i've been very happy with it it does exactly what i need it to do i got the uh 4.0 millimeter stroke um i haven't tried any of the other strokes but I can say from experience, the four millimeter stroke, I can do thin lines with, and then I can pack nice thick lines with it. Um, I can do all my soft black and gray shading with it. Uh, I can color pack with it just fine. Literally it can do anything I want it to do. Uh, of course I use different variations of needles to achieve that, but um, and your hand speed and all that good stuff plays a good role in how the machine actually works. Um, but yeah, as far as uh, quality, durability, longevity, it's been a great machine. I'll go ahead and I'll turn it on for you guys and see if you can hear it a little bit. Typically I run it around 8 volts um, for most of my work. I will go up to about eight and a half to nine at the most. Sometimes I'll bring it down even to six volts if I'm doing like stemple shading or some really delicate line work. Um, but typically most of the time I'm running right around eight volts and that seems to be able to do mostly anything I need it to do uh, without damaging the skin. Um, one other thing I love, I love the green and black box. Those are my colors. Um, so 
if you're looking to get this machine i would say it's a great machine i would definitely try it out um i know fk irons has probably released several machines since i've got this one but in all honesty i'm sure the technology is probably pretty similar in the flux and whatever else is out now um so i would say any of their machines their pen style machines are gonna work probably pretty similar to this this does have the uh the e-give feature with the app i do not have the app i don't i've never used it uh i feel like with tattooing your hand speed is is the most crucial you shouldn't worry about so much how much give it has and how much it doesn't that's my personal opinion you should just get used to how the machine runs and learn how that machine you know works and you'll kind of grow with it and uh so like i said i do all all of my work with this single machine and i have no problem doing full color pieces and nice smooth black and gray portraits with it uh, it's all a matter of hand motion and speed and just how you use the machine really so you could check out the uh the e, e give uh futures like i said i i've never explored them i like a machine that hits nice and hard and hits the same way every single time I believe uh, consistency in tattooing and anything really is key. So if you have a machine that runs consistent the exact same way every single time, you've taken out a lot of variables. Uh, so I would uh, I'd definitely try it without the e-give and learn the machine before even messing with that. But again, that's just my personal opinion. Um, I've been tattooing about a decade now. Uh, you can find my work at trainandveintattoos.com or you can find me on Facebook under Train and Vein Tattoos LLC. And I'm also on Instagram. Um, my Instagram handle is train underscore n underscore vein underscore tattoos. Um, um, 